Michigan CDL Double Triple Trailers Test Question 1. When driving with more than one trailer, which trailer should be the first one behind the tractor? The lightest trailer The shortest trailer The heaviest trailer Answer The heaviest trailer Question 2. If you want to couple a second trailer to your combination vehicle, secure it by using Wheel chocks The trailer spring brakes and emergency air brakes Either of the above, if available Answer Either of the above, if available Question 3. The best way to stop all skids is to Counter stare and accelerate Restore traction to the tires Use stab or controlled braking Answer Restore traction to the tires Question 4. You want to hook your combination to a second trailer that has no spring brakes. To do this without wheel chocks you should Hook the trailer electric core to a portable generator for braking. Make sure the trailer will roll freely when coupling. Supply air to the trailer air system with a tractor and then disconnect the emergency line. Answer Supply air to the trailer air system with a tractor and then disconnect the emergency line. Question 5 The crack the whip effect that troubles trucks with trailers is most likely to tip over. The rear trailer of a double A full trailer behind a truck the rear trailer of a triple. Answer The rear trailer of a triple. Question 6. What is likely to happen if the pintle hook is unlocked while the dolly is still under the second trailer? Nothing will happen unless the rig rolls forward. The dolly tow bar may fly up. The air lines will rupture. Answer The dolly tow bar may fly up. Question 7. Converter dollies Usually need a glad hand converter. Often do not have spring brakes have little braking power because they are small. Answer Often do not have spring brakes. Question 8. Before you can supply air to the air tanks of a second trailer, you need to Open the shut-off valves at the rear of both trailers. Open the shut-off valves at the rear of the first trailer, and close the shut-off valves at the rear of the second trailer. Close the shut-off valves at the rear of both trailers. Answer Open the shut-off valves at the rear of the first trailer, and close the shut-off valves at the rear of the second trailer. Question 9. When driving with more than one trailer, which trailer should be the first one behind the tractor? The lightest trailer. The heaviest trailer. The shortest trailer. Answer. The heaviest trailer.
Question 10. Driving a truck with double or triple trailers requires a driver to Allow more following distance than for smaller vehicles. Do both of these things. Use special care in bad weather and mountain conditions. Answer Do both of these things. Question 11. Empty trucks Require shorter stopping distances than full ones. May have poor tractions due to bouncing and wheel lockup. Are the easiest to stop since there is no shifting cargo. Answer May have poor tractions due to bouncing and wheel lockup. Question 12. With the hand valve on, you should test the trailer brakes by opening the service line valve at the rear of the rig. When you do this, you should hear the emergency line valve open and release air. The service brakes slowly move to the fully applied position. Air escape from the open valve. Answer. Air escape from the open valve. Question 13. How can you be sure you supply air to a second trailer? Watch each trailer's air gauge for a drop of 30 pounds per square inch. Apply the hand valve at 10 miles per hour. You should stop in the same distance as a truck with one trailer at 5 miles per hour. Go to the rear of the second trailer and open the emergency line shut off. Answer Go to the rear of the second trailer and open the emergency line shut off. Question 14 You are driving a 100 foot truck with double trailers at 30 miles per hour. The road is dry. Visibility is good. You should keep at least seconds of space ahead of you. 9 11 10 Answer 10 Question 15. You are driving a set of doubles. A set of trailer's wheels goes into a skid. Which of these is most likely to occur? You will have a trailer jackknife. The rig will stay in a straight line but slide sideways. The rig will continue to move in a straight line no matter how much the steering wheel is turned. Answer You will have a trailer jackknife. Question 16. If you want to couple a second trailer to your combination vehicle, secure it by using Wheel chocks The trailer's spring brakes and emergency air brakes Either of the above, if available Answer Either of the above, if available Question 17. Before you can supply air to the air tanks of a second trailer, you need to Close the shut-off valves at the rear of both trailers. Open the shut-off valves at the rear of the first trailer, and close the shut-off valves at the rear of the second trailer. Open the shut-off valves at the rear of both trailers. Answer Open the shut-off valves at the rear of the first trailer, and close the shut-off valves at the rear of the second trailer. Question 18. What is likely to happen if the pintle hook is unlocked while the dolly is still under the second trailer? 
nothing will happen unless the rig rolls forward. The Dolly tow bar may fly up. The airlines will rupture. Answer The Dolly tow bar may fly up. Question 19. You are visually checking the coupling of a converter dolly to the rear trailer. How much space should be between the upper and lower fifth wheel? It depends on the load. One half to three fourths inch. None. Answer. None. Question 20. You are driving a 100-foot truck with double trailers at 30 miles per hour. The road is dry. Visibility is good. You should keep at least seconds of space ahead of you. 9 11 10 Answer 10 Question 21. Which of these statements about managing space to the sides is true? High winds are not a problem for doubles and triples. Always keep your vehicle to the right side of your lane. You should avoid traveling next to others when possible. Answer. You should avoid traveling next to others when possible. Question 22. If you want to couple a second trailer to your combination vehicle, secure it by using The trailer spring brakes and emergency air brakes Wheel chocks Either of the above, if available. Answer. Either of the above, if available. Question 23. You are driving a set of doubles. A set of trailers wheels goes into a skid. Which of these is most likely to occur? The rig will stay in a straight line but slide sideways. You will have a trailer jackknife. The rig will continue to move in a straight line no matter how much the steering wheel is turned. Answer You will have a trailer jackknife. Question 24. The crack the whip effect that troubles trucks with trailers is most likely to tip over. The rear trailer of a double. The rear trailer of a triple. A full trailer behind a truck. Answer. The rear trailer of a triple. Question 25. Which of these is not a good thing to do when driving on slippery roads? Use a light touch on the accelerator and brake pedals. Use the engine brake or speed retarder. Keep other traffic out of your side space. Answer Use the engine brake or speed retarder. Question 26 The crack the whip effect that troubles trucks with trailers is most likely to tip over. The rear trailer of a double. The rear trailer of a triple. A full trailer behind a truck. Answer. The rear trailer of a triple. Question 27. You are driving a set of doubles. A set of trailers wheels goes into a skid. Which of these is most likely to occur? 
The rig will stay in a straight line but slide sideways. The rig will continue to move in a straight line no matter how much the steering wheel is turned. You will have a trailer jackknife. Answer You will have a trailer jackknife. Question 28. Which of these is not a good thing to do when driving on slippery roads? Keep other traffic out of your side space. Use a light touch on the accelerator and brake pedals. Use the engine brake or speed retarder. Answer Use the engine brake or speed retarder. Question 29. What is likely to happen if the pintle hook is unlocked while the dolly is still under the second trailer? The dolly tow bar may fly up. Nothing will happen unless the rig rolls forward. The airlines will rupture. Answer. The dolly tow bar may fly up. Question 30. Driving a truck with double or triple trailers requires a driver to Do both of these things. Allow more following distance than for smaller vehicles. Use special care in bad weather and mountain conditions. Answer Do both of these things. Question 31. Which of these statements about handling doubles and triples is true? The rear trailer of a 100-foot triple is less likely to turn over than a single semi-trailer due to the crack through whip. A sudden movement with a steering wheel can result in a tipped over rear trailer. A triple bottom rig can stop quicker than a 5-axle tractor semi-trailer due to off-tracking. Answer. A sudden movement with a steering wheel can result in a tipped over rear trailer. Question 32. You wish to turn right from one two lane, two way street to another. The truck is too long to turn without swinging wide. You should turn like it shows in. Figure B. Figure A. Figure C. Answer. Figure B. Question 33. With the hand valve on, you should test the trailer brakes by opening the service line valve at the rear of the rig. When you do this, you should hear. The emergency line valve open and release air. Air escape from the open valve. The service brakes slowly move to the fully applied position. Answer Air escape from the open valve. Question 34 If you want to couple a second trailer to your combination vehicle, secure it by using the trailer spring brakes and emergency air brakes. Wheel chocks. Either of the above, if available. Answer. Either of the above, if available. Question 35. You are visually checking the coupling of a converter dolly to the rear trailer. How much space should be between the upper and lower fifth wheel? None. It depends on the load. One half to three fourths inch. Answer. None.
Question 36. Some large trucks have convex or spot mirrors. These mirrors make things look smaller and farther away than they really are. Do not need to be checked as often as flat mirrors because they show a larger area. Are against the law in most states. Answer Make things look smaller and farther away than they really are. Question 37. Which of these is not a good thing to do when driving on slippery roads? Keep other traffic out of your side space. Use a light touch on the accelerator and brake pedals. Use the engine brake or speed retarder. Answer. Use the engine brake or speed retarder. Question 38. You want to hook your combination to a second trailer that has no spring brakes. To do this without wheel chocks you should Make sure the trailer will roll freely when coupling. Supply air to the trailer air system with a tractor and then disconnect the emergency line. Hook the trailer electric core to a portable generator for braking. Answer Supply air to the trailer air system with a tractor and then disconnect the emergency line. Question 39 you are driving a set of doubles. A set of trailers wheels goes into a skid. Which of these is most likely to occur? The rig will stay in a straight line but slide sideways. You will have a trailer jackknife. The rig will continue to move in a straight line no matter how much the steering wheel is turned. Answer. You will have a trailer jackknife. Question 40. Which of these statements about managing space to the sides is true? High winds are not a problem for doubles and triples. You should avoid traveling next to others when possible. Always keep your vehicle to the right side of your lane. Answer. You should avoid traveling next to others when possible. Question 41. You are doing a walk around inspection of a double or triple trailer rig. You should be sure the converter dolly air tank drain valves are. And a pintle hook is. Open, free. Open, latched. Closed, latched. Answer. Closed, latched. Question 42. You are driving a 100-foot twin trailer combination at 50 miles per hour. The road is dry and the visibility is good. You should keep at least seconds of space ahead of you. 9 10 11 Answer 11 Question 43 The crack the whip effect that troubles trucks with trailers is most likely to tip over The rear trailer of a triple the rear trailer of a double. A full trailer behind a truck. Answer. The rear trailer of a triple. Question 44. You want to hook your combination to a second trailer that has no spring brakes. To do this without wheel chocks you should Make sure the trailer will roll freely when coupling. 
supply air to the trailer air system with a tractor and then disconnect the emergency line. Hook the trailer electric core to a portable generator for braking. Answer Supply air to the trailer air system with a tractor and then disconnect the emergency line. Question 45. You should check the height of the trailer before connecting a converter dolly to a second of third trailer. The trailer height is right when? The trailer will be raised slightly when the converter dolly is backed under it. The kingpin rests on the fifth wheel. The center of the kingpin lines up with the locking jaws. Answer The trailer will be raised slightly when the converter dolly is backed under it. Question 46. You wish to turn right from one two-lane, two-way street to another. The truck is too long to turn without swinging wide. You should turn like it shows in. Figure B. Figure A. Figure C. Answer. Figure B. Question 47. You are visually checking the coupling of a converter dolly to the rear trailer. How much space should be between the upper and lower fifth wheel? It depends on the load. One half to three fourths inch. None. Answer. None. Question 48. You are driving a 100-foot twin-trailer combination at 50 miles per hour. The road is dry and the visibility is good. You should keep at least seconds of space ahead of you. 10 9 11 Answer 11 Question 49. With the hand valve on, you should test the trailer brakes by opening the service line valve at the rear of the rig. When you do this, you should hear. The service brakes slowly move to the fully applied position. Air escape from the open valve. The emergency line valve open and release air. Answer. Air escape from the open valve. Question 50. Which of these statements about handling bubbles and triples is true? The rear trailer of a 100-foot triple is less likely to turn over than a single semi-trailer due to the crack through whip. A sudden movement with a steering wheel can result in a tipped over rear trailer. A triple bottom rig can stop quicker than a five-axle tractor semi-trailer due to off-tracking. Answer A sudden movement with a steering wheel can result in a tipped-over rear trailer. Question 51. The best way to stop all skids is to Counter stare and accelerate. Use stab or controlled braking. Restore traction to the tires. Answer Restore traction to the tires. Question 52 Which of these statements about handling bubbles and triples is true? A triple bottom rig can stop quicker than a five-axle tractor semi-trailer due to off-tracking. The rear trailer of a 100-foot triple is less likely to turn over than a single semi-trailer due to the crack-through whip. 
A sudden movement with a steering wheel can result in a tipped over rear trailer. Answer A sudden movement with a steering wheel can result in a tipped over rear trailer. Question 53 Empty trucks require shorter stopping distances than full ones. Are the easiest to stop since there is no shifting cargo. May have poor tractions due to bouncing and wheel lockup. Answer May have poor tractions due to bouncing and wheel lockup. Question 54. You are visually checking the coupling of a converter dolly to the rear trailer. How much space should be between the upper and lower fifth wheel? One half to three fourths inch. None. It depends on the load. Answer. None. Question 55. With the hand valve on, you should test the trailer brakes by opening the service line valve at the rear of the rig. When you do this, you should hear. The service brakes slowly move to the fully applied position. The emergency line valve open and release air. Air escape from the open valve. Answer. Air escape from the open valve. Question 56. You are driving a set of doubles. A set of trailer's wheels goes into a skid. Which of these is most likely to occur? The rig will continue to move in a straight line no matter how much the steering wheel is turned. The rig will stay in a straight line but slide sideways. You will have a trailer jackknife. Answer You will have a trailer jackknife. Question 57 You are driving with double trailers and must use your brakes to avoid a crash. For emergency braking you should Push the brake pedal as hard as you can and hold it there. Use control door stab braking. Use only the trailer brakes. Answer Use control door stab braking. Question 58 you are driving a 100-foot truck with double trailers at 30 miles per hour. The road is dry. Visibility is good. You should keep at least seconds of space ahead of you. 11 10 9 Answer 10 Question 59. You wish to turn right from one two-lane, two-way street to another. The truck is too long to turn without swinging wide. You should turn like it shows in. Figure B. Figure A. Figure C. Answer. Figure B. Question 60. You are doing a walk-around inspection of a double or triple trailer rig. You should be sure the converter dolly air tank drain valves are. And a pintle hook is. Closed, latched. Open, free. Open, latched. Answer. Closed, latched. Question 61. You are driving a set of doubles. 
A set of trailer's wheels goes into a skid. Which of these is most likely to occur? You will have a trailer jackknife. The rig will continue to move in a straight line no matter how much the steering wheel is turned. The rig will stay in a straight line but slide sideways. Answer You will have a trailer jackknife. Question 62. When driving with more than one trailer, which trailer should be the first one behind the tractor? The lightest trailer. The heaviest trailer. The shortest trailer. Answer. The heaviest trailer. Question 63. Which of these is not a good thing to do when driving on slippery roads? Use the engine brake or speed retarder. Use a light touch on the accelerator and brake pedals. Keep other traffic out of your side space. Answer Use the engine brake or speed retarder. Question 64. You should check the height of the trailer before connecting a converter dolly to a second of third trailer. The trailer height is right when The center of the kingpin lines up with the locking jaws. The kingpin rests on the fifth wheel. The trailer will be raised slightly when the converter dolly is backed under it. Answer. The trailer will be raised slightly when the converter dolly is backed under it. Question 65. Which of these statements about quick steering movements and doubles, triples is true? You should put on the brakes at the same time you perform quick steering movements. Doubles. Triples flip over from quick steering moves more easily than many other vehicles. Counter steering is easier with doubles, triples than with most other vehicles. Answer Doubles, triples flip over from quick steering moves more easily than many other vehicles. Question 66. Converter dollies Often do not have spring brakes. Usually need a glad hand converter. Have little braking power because they are small. Answer Often do not have spring brakes. Question 67. Which of these statements about handling bubbles and triples is true? The rear trailer of a 100-foot triple is less likely to turn over than a single semi-trailer due to the crack through whip. A triple bottom rig can stop quicker than a 5-axle tractor semi-trailer due to off-tracking. A sudden movement with a steering wheel can result in a tipped-over rear trailer. Answer. A sudden movement with a steering wheel can result in a tipped over rear trailer. Question 68. You are driving with double trailers and must use your brakes to avoid a crash. For emergency braking you should Use only the trailer brakes. Use control door stab braking. Push the brake pedal as hard as you can and hold it there. Answer Use control door stab braking. Question 69. You wish to turn right from one two-lane, two-way street to another. The truck is too long to turn without swinging wide. You should turn like it shows in. 
Figure A Figure B Figure C Answer Figure B Question 70 how can you be sure you supply dare to a second trailer? Apply the hand valve at 10 miles per hour. You should stop in the same distance as a truck with one trailer at 5 miles per hour. Watch each trailer's air gauge for a drop of 30 pounds per square inch. Go to the rear of the second trailer and open the emergency line shut off. Answer. Go to the rear of the second trailer and open the emergency line shut off. Question 71. The crack the whip effect that troubles trucks with trailers is most likely to tip over. A full trailer behind a truck. The rear trailer of a double. The rear trailer of a triple. Answer. The rear trailer of a triple. Question 72. You are doing a walk around inspection of a double or triple trailer rig. You should be sure the converter dolly air tank drain valves are. And a pintle hook is. Closed, latched. Open, free. Open. Latched. Answer. Closed. Latched. Question 73. You want to hook your combination to a second trailer that has no spring brakes. To do this without wheel chops you should. Supply air to the trailer air system with a tractor and then disconnect the emergency line. Make sure the trailer will roll freely when coupling. Hook the trailer electric core to a portable generator for braking. Answer Supply air to the trailer air system with a tractor and then disconnect the emergency line. Question 74. The best way to stop all skids is to Use stab or controlled braking Restore traction to the tires Counter stare and accelerate Answer Restore traction to the tires Question 75. Which of these statements about handling bubbles and triples is true? A triple bottom rig can stop quicker than a five-axle tractor semi-trailer due to off-tracking. A sudden movement with a steering wheel can result in a tipped-over rear trailer. The rear trailer of a 100-foot triple is less likely to turn over than a single semi-trailer due to the crack through whip. Answer. A sudden movement with a steering wheel can result in a tipped over rear trailer. Question 76. You are driving a set of doubles. A set of trailers wheels goes into a skid. Which of these is most likely to occur? The rig will stay in a straight line but slide sideways. You will have a trailer jackknife. The rig will continue to move in a straight line no matter how much the steering wheel is turned. Answer You will have a trailer jackknife. Question 77 You are visually checking the coupling of a converter dolly to the rear trailer. How much space should be between the upper and lower fifth wheel? None. It depends on the load.
one half to three fourths inch. Answer. None. Question 78. Driving a truck with double or triple trailers requires a driver to Do both of these things. Allow more following distance than for smaller vehicles. Use special care in bad weather and mountain conditions. Answer Do both of these things. Question 79. You should check the height of the trailer before connecting a converter dolly to a second of third trailer. The trailer height is right when The center of the kingpin lines up with the locking jaws. The kingpin rests on the fifth wheel. The trailer will be raised slightly when the converter dolly is backed under it. Answer. The trailer will be raised slightly when the converter dolly is backed under it. Question 80. Before you can supply air to the air tanks of a second trailer, you need to Open the shut-off valves at the rear of both trailers. Close the shut-off valves at the rear of both trailers. Open the shut-off valves at the rear of the first trailer, and close the shut-off valves at the rear of the second trailer. Answer Open the shut-off valves at the rear of the first trailer, and close the shut-off valves at the rear of the second trailer. Question 81 you are doing a walk-around inspection of a double or triple trailer rig. You should be sure the converter dolly air tank drain valves are. And the pintle hook is. Open, latched. Open, free. Closed, latched. Answer. Closed, latched. Question 82. You want to hook your combination to a second trailer that has no spring brakes. To do this without wheel chocks you should Hook the trailer electric core to a portable generator for braking. Supply air to the trailer air system with a tractor and then disconnect the emergency line. Make sure the trailer will roll freely when coupling. Answer. Supply air to the trailer air system with a tractor and then disconnect the emergency line. Question 83. Some large trucks have convex or spot mirrors. These mirrors are against the law in most states. Do not need to be checked as often as flat mirrors because they show a larger area. Make things look smaller and farther away than they really are. Answer Make things look smaller and farther away than they really are. Question 84. What is likely to happen if the pintle hook is unlocked while the dolly is still under the second trailer? Nothing will happen unless the rig rolls forward. The dolly tow bar may fly up. The air lines will rupture. Answer The dolly tow bar may fly up. Question 85. The best way to stop all skids is to Restore traction to the tires. Use stab or controlled braking. Counter stare and accelerate. Answer 
Restore traction to the tires. Question 86. Which of these statements about managing space to the sides is true? You should avoid traveling next to others when possible. High winds are not a problem for doubles and triples. Always keep your vehicle to the right side of your lane. Answer You should avoid traveling next to others when possible. Question 87 What is likely to happen if the pintle hook is unlocked while the dolly is still under the second trailer? The dolly tow bar may fly up. Nothing will happen unless the rig rolls forward. The airlines will rupture. Answer The dolly tow bar may fly up. Question 88. Which of these is not a good thing to do when driving on slippery roads? Keep other traffic out of your side space. Use a light touch on the accelerator and brake pedals. Use the engine brake or speed retarder. Answer Use the engine brake or speed retarder. Question 89. You are visually checking the coupling of a converter dolly to the rear trailer. How much space should be between the upper and lower fifth wheel? It depends on the load. None. One half to three fourths inch. Answer. None. Question 90. Which of these statements about handling bubbles and triples is true? The rear trailer of a 100-foot triple is less likely to turn over than a single semi-trailer due to the crack through whip. A sudden movement with a steering wheel can result in a tipped over rear trailer. A triple bottom rig can stop quicker than a 5-axle tractor semi-trailer due to off-tracking. Answer A sudden movement with a steering wheel can result in a tipped over rear trailer. Question 91 Empty trucks Require shorter stopping distances than full ones. Are the easiest to stop since there is no shifting cargo. May have poor tractions due to bouncing and wheel lockup. Answer May have poor tractions due to bouncing and wheel lockup. Question 92 You are driving with double trailers and must use your brakes to avoid a crash. For emergency braking, you should. Push the brake pedal as hard as you can and hold it there. Use control door stab braking. Use only the trailer brakes. Answer Use control door stab braking. Question 93 Before you can supply air to the air tanks of a second trailer, you need to Open the shut-off valves at the rear of the first trailer, and close the shut-off valves at the rear of the second trailer. Open the shut-off valves at the rear of both trailers. Close the shut-off valves at the rear of both trailers. Answer Open the shut-off valves at the rear of the first trailer. And close the shut-off valves at the rear of the second trailer. Question 94. How can you be sure you supplied dare to a second trailer? 
watch each trailer's air gauge for a drop of 30 pounds per square inch. Apply the hand valve at 10 miles per hour you should stop in the same distance as a truck with one trailer at 5 miles per hour. Go to the rear of the second trailer and open the emergency line shut off. Answer Go to the rear of the second trailer and open the emergency line shut off. Question 95, with the hand valve on, you should test the trailer brakes by opening the service line valve at the rear of the rig. When you do this, you should hear Air escape from the open valve The emergency line valve open and release air The service brakes slowly move to the fully applied position Answer Air escape from the open valve. Question 96. Which of these statements about managing space to the sides is true? High winds are not a problem for doubles and triples. You should avoid traveling next to others when possible. Always keep your vehicle to the right side of your lane. Answer. You should avoid traveling next to others when possible. Question 97. The best way to stop all skids is to Use stab or controlled braking. Counter stare and accelerate. Restore traction to the tires. Answer Restore traction to the tires Question 98, Empty Trucks Are the easiest to stop since there is no shifting cargo. May have poor tractions due to bouncing and wheel lockup. Require shorter stopping distances than full ones. Answer May have poor tractions due to bouncing and wheel lockup. Question 99 How can you be sure you supply dare to a second trailer? Apply the hand valve at 10 miles per hour. You should stop in the same distance as a truck with one trailer at 5 miles per hour. Watch each trailer's air gauge for a drop of 30 pounds per square inch. Go to the rear of the second trailer and open the emergency line shut off. Answer Go to the rear of the second trailer and open the emergency line shut off. Question 100 which of these statements about handling bubbles and triples is true? A triple bottom rig can stop quicker than a five axle tractor semi trailer due to off tracking. A sudden movement with a steering wheel can result in a tipped over rear trailer. The rear trailer of a 100 foot triple is less likely to turn over than a single semi trailer due to the crack through whip. Answer A sudden movement with a steering wheel can result in a tipped over rear trailer. Question 101 You are driving a 100 foot twin trailer combination at 50 miles per hour. The road is dry and the visibility is good. You should keep at least seconds of space ahead of you. 9 11 10 Answer 11 Question 102 How can you be sure you supply dare to a second trailer? 
go to the rear of the second trailer and open the emergency line shut off. Apply the hand valve at 10 miles per hour. You should stop in the same distance as a truck with one trailer at 5 miles per hour. Watch each trailer's air gauge for a drop of 30 pounds per square inch. Answer Go to the rear of the second trailer and open the emergency line shut off. Question 103. When driving with more than one trailer, which trailer should be the first one behind the tractor? The lightest trailer. The shortest trailer. The heaviest trailer. Answer. The heaviest trailer. Question 104. Empty trucks may have poor tractions due to bouncing and wheel lockup. Are the easiest to stop since there is no shifting cargo. Require shorter stopping distances than full ones. Answer May have poor tractions due to bouncing and wheel lockup. Question 105. You are driving a 100-foot truck with double trailers at 30 miles per hour. The road is dry. Visibility is good. You should keep at least seconds of space ahead of you. 10 9 11 Answer 10 Question 106. Which of these statements about handling bubbles and triples is true? A sudden movement with a steering wheel can result in a tipped over rear trailer. The rear trailer of a 100 foot triple is less likely to turn over than a single semi trailer due to the crack through whip. A triple bottom rig can stop quicker than a five axle tractor semi trailer due to off tracking. Answer A sudden movement with a steering wheel can result in a tipped over rear trailer. Question 107. You wish to turn right from one two lane, two way street to another. The truck is too long to turn without swinging wide. You should turn like it shows in. Figure C. Figure A. Figure B. Answer. Figure B. Question 108. You should check the height of the trailer before connecting a converter dolly to a second of third trailer. The trailer height is right when. The kingpin rests on the fifth wheel. The trailer will be raised slightly when the converter dolly is backed under it. The center of the kingpin lines up with the locking jaws. Answer. The trailer will be raised slightly when the converter dolly is backed under it. Question 109. If you want to couple a second trailer to your combination vehicle, secure it by using The trailer spring brakes and emergency air brakes Wheel chocks Either of the above, if available Answer Either of the above, if available Question 110. You are driving a set of doubles. A set of trailers wheels goes into a skid. Which of these is most likely to occur? The rig will continue to move in a straight line no matter how much the steering wheel is turned. 
The rig will stay in a straight line but slide sideways. You will have a trailer jackknife. Answer. You will have a trailer jackknife. Question 111. You are driving a 100 foot twin trailer combination at 50 miles per hour. The road is dry and the visibility is good. You should keep at least seconds of space ahead of you. 11 10 9 Answer 11 Question 112 You want to hook your combination to a second trailer that has no spring brakes. To do this without wheel chocks you should Hook the trailer electric core to a portable generator for braking. Supply air to the trailer air system with a tractor and then disconnect the emergency line. Make sure the trailer will roll freely when coupling. Answer Supply air to the trailer air system with a tractor and then disconnect the emergency line. Question 113. Driving a truck with double or triple trailers requires a driver to Use special care in bad weather and mountain conditions. Do both of these things. Allow more following distance than for smaller vehicles. Answer Do both of these things. Question 114. You are driving a 100 foot twin trailer combination at 50 miles per hour. The road is dry and the visibility is good. You should keep at least seconds of space ahead of you. 10 9 11 Answer 11 Question 115. Before you can supply air to the air tanks of a second trailer, you need to Open the shut-off valves at the rear of both trailers. Open the shut-off valves at the rear of the first trailer, and close the shut-off valves at the rear of the second trailer. Close the shut-off valves at the rear of both trailers. Answer Open the shut-off valves at the rear of the first trailer, and close the shut-off valves at the rear of the second trailer. Question 116. Empty trucks May have poor tractions due to bouncing and wheel lockup. Are the easiest to stop since there is no shifting cargo. Require shorter stopping distances than full ones. Answer May have poor tractions due to bouncing and wheel lockup. Question 117 Which of these statements about managing space to the sides is true? High winds are not a problem for doubles and triples. Always keep your vehicle to the right side of your lane. You should avoid traveling next to others when possible. Answer You should avoid traveling next to others when possible. Question 118. The crack the whip effect that troubles trucks with trailers is most likely to tip over. The rear trailer of a double. A full trailer behind a truck. The rear trailer of a triple. 
Answer. The rear trailer of a triple. Question 119. You are driving a set of doubles. A set of trailers wheels goes into a skid. Which of these is most likely to occur? You will have a trailer jackknife. The rig will continue to move in a straight line no matter how much the steering wheel is turned. The rig will stay in a straight line but slide sideways. Answer You will have a trailer jackknife. Question 120. Some large trucks have convex or spot mirrors. These mirrors make things look smaller and farther away than they really are. Are against the law in most states. Do not need to be checked as often as flat mirrors because they show a larger area. Answer Make things look smaller and farther away than they really are. Question 121. You wish to turn right from one two-lane, two-way street to another. The truck is too long to turn without swinging wide. You should turn like it shows in. Figure A. Figure B. Figure C. Answer. Figure B. Thank you for watching the video and wish you will get your driver license soon.